what is up guys andrew cruzy here and in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to put an automated follow-up system into your Airtable so that you actually follow up and close more deals you and if you have a setter team this will be perfect for you so it, you know that the magic is in the follow-up and why don't we do it we just forget about it but if you just have one view with all of your leads in the right prospect stage and you have the follow-up button right here that I'm about to show you how to set up and how to use, you will follow up so much more and close so many more deals. So without further ado, let's hop into it. So first thing that you wanna set up is a really simple page like this here uh, with the name, uh, last update, notes, responsible, Literally, you can put any of the information you want in here. Here's a quick glance at ours. And you might be wondering, how do people get in here? Well, there are two ways. We have automations from funnels uh, with Zapier that drop into here. And then we also have the uh, Airtable web clipper to add leads to this table when we're prospecting on school or instagram or facebook what have you it will automatically grab their name and their social url if you want me to do a video about that put that down below hashtag uh web clipper down below and i'll show you how to set that up but here just make sure you have some spots in here how you want to see your data on your prospects and all you need to do is add an additional follow-up um uh button right here or more so it is called the checkbox in here and just make sure you have that in there and then this is where the magic happens with the automation so what this will do when i click this button it will send it to nick here in his tasks to follow up with dr was wasi and it will send us a slack notification to for him to follow up with him with the notes that are inside of there. And then we have a direct link to our follow-up scripts as well, our uh, DMSOP document right here. So he can just rock and roll and follow up with Dr. Wasabi right there, or Wasi. And then he also gets a task inside of here. These are the people to follow up with. So he'll just check this off uh, when he's followed up with them. So how do you set this up? And make sure that you're following up with your, um, with your prospects and your SDR team is following up with your prospects as well. Well, you just go into the automations here and you create this really simple automation. So the first thing here is setting it up with leads. So if you don't know how to do this, you hit the create automations down here and then you select when a record matches conditions uh, right here and then table, whatever table you selected, leads or whatever you're calling them, prospects, whatever you have in there, and condition matches checkbox. So when we check that box, then the information will flow to tasks and to Slack. So then inside of here, create record, um, you want to create a record next, going into your tasks table, and we have a whole video on that. If you want to check that out, hashtag tasks down below and we'll send it over to you. But follow up with name and then responsible is dynamic. So make sure you switch this to dynamic so it can match the record ID from the leads page. Because on the leads page, we have who's responsible for that person. And this will take, oh, that person's responsible and send it over to Nick if he's marked as responsible in the leads page. It will send it to my tasks if I'm responsible in the leads page. It's really cool and you can set up these dynamic uh, setups super easily. Then you can add some of the details in here if you have the social link, uh, notes, follow-up scripts, going straight to the prospecting board. And right when you click this button, boom, follow-up, then a task will be created for you or your team members, whoever is responsible. And then if you're using Slack, this is really cool. So this will automatically send it to Slack as well, follow up with this person, social link, some notes, and then our follow-up scripts and the prospecting board. So then you can have notes on, hey, I followed up with this person, this is what they said back. You can help train your SDRs or you can have us train your SDRs or 
setters as well. Um, so that is about it. Um, really easy to set up. Just make sure you have a leads board, task board. We have trainings on that inside of YouTube. And then set up the automations on this end and you will follow up, close far more deals and absolutely crush it. So that's about it for this video. I hope that's helpful. If you got anything out of this, hit that heart button or hit the like button, leave a comment and helps the channel. And I'll be bringing more automations, awesome stuff to you here. But that's about it for this video. I will see you in the next YouTube video.